The 29th Flying Training Wing is an inactive United States Air Force unit last based at Craig Air Force Base, Alabama. It was inactivated when Craig was closed when the Air Force reduced its pilot training program after the Vietnam War. The unit began with its United States Army Air Force's World War II predecessor, the 29th Bombardment Group. It originally conducted anti-submarine warfare over the Gulf of Mexico during the early years of the war. Later, the 29th was a replacement training unit RTU. In 1944, the group was requipped with Boeing B-29 Superfortresses and was engaged in combat as part of 20th Air Force. The 29th Bomb Group's aircraft engaged in very heavy bombardment operations against Japan, during which it earned two distinguished unit citations. History World War II Anti-submarine warfare and heavy bomber training The wing was first activated at Langley Field, Virginia, as the 29th Bombardment Group in January 1940, with the 6th, 43d and 52d Bombardment Squadrons assigned as its original components. Its organization was part of the pre-World War II buildup of the United States Army Air Corps after the breakout of war in Europe. In May, it moved to MacDill Field, Florida, where it was equipped with a mix of pre-production YB-17s and early model Boeing B-17 Flying Fortresses and Douglas B-18 Bolos. In September 1941, the group expanded one a fourth squadron, the 21st Reconnaissance. Reconnaissance Squadron, was attached to it. The group was still at MacDill when the Japanese attacked Pearl Harbor, and it began to fly anti-submarine patrol missions in the Gulf of Mexico from January 1942. While the group was engaged in anti-submarine patrols, its 21st Reconnaissance Squadron was renamed the 411th Bombardment Squadron, recognizing that its mission no longer differed from that of the other three squadrons in the group. By the summer of 1942, the U-boat threat in the Gulf began to diminish, with all German submarines being withdrawn from the area by September. No longer needed in the Gulf, the group moved to Gowan Field, Idaho, where it became an operational training unit OTU. The OTU program involved the use of an oversized parent unit to provide cadres to satellite groups. The 96th, 381st, 384th and 388th Bombardment Groups were all formed at Gowan in the second half of 1942. In 1943, the 29th Group exchanged its B-17s for consolidated B-24 Liberators. The group mission also changed as the Army Air Force's AAF need for new units diminished and its need for replacements increased. The group became a replacement training unit RTU. Like Otis, RTUs were oversized units, but their mission was to train individual pilots and aircrews. However, standard military units, like the 29th Group, were based on relatively inflexible tables of organization, and were not proving well adapted to the training mission. Accordingly, the AAF adopted a more functional system in which each base was organized into a separate numbered unit. The 29th Bombardment Group and its four squadrons were inactivated. Its personnel and equipment, along with that of supporting units at Gowan Field were combined into the 212th AAF Base Unit Combat Crew Training School, Heavy, on 1 April 1944. <laughs> Combat in the Pacific 
The AAF was organizing new Boeing B-29 Superfortress Very Heavy Bombardment Units, and the group was activated the same day at Pratt Army Air Field, Kansas. The group briefly returned to flying B-17s until B-29s became available for training. In May, the AAF reorganized its very heavy bomber units, and the 411th Bombardment Squadron was inactivated, leaving the group with its original three squadrons. The 29th continued training with the Superfortress until December 1944. Training included long-range overwater flights to Borinquen Field, Puerto Rico, the group deployed to North Field, Guam, where it became a component of the 314th Bombardment Wing of 21 Bomber Command. Its first combat mission was an attack on Tokyo on 25 February 1945. Until March 1945, it engaged primarily in daytime high-altitude attacks on strategic targets, such as refineries and factories. The campaign against Japan switched that month and the group began to conduct low-altitude night raids, using incendiaries against area targets. The group received a Distinguished Unit Citation duck for the 31 March attack against an airfield at Omura, Japan. The group earned a second duck in June for an attack on an industrial area of Shizuoka Prefecture, which included an aircraft factory operated by Mitsubishi and the Chigusa Arsenal, Staff Sergeant Henry E. Red. Irwin was awarded the Medal of Honor for action that saved his B-29 during a mission over Koryama, Japan, on 12 April 1945. Sergeant Irwin was assigned to job of dropping white phosphorus bombs through a launching chute in the floor of his bomber. A bomb exploded in the chute and shot back into the plane, severely wounding Sergeant Irwin and filling the plane with heavy smoke. Despite being blinded by the burning bomb, he picked it up, carried it forward to the cockpit area of the plane and threw it out an open window. Once the smoke had cleared, the pilot was able to pull the Superfortress out of a dive and recover at an emergency base. During Operation Iceberg, the invasion of Okinawa, the group was diverted from the strategic campaign against Japanese industry and attacked airfields from which kamikaze attacks were being launched against the landing force. Following VJ Day, the group dropped food and supplies to Allied prisoners of war and participated in several show of force missions over Japan. It also conducted reconnaissance flights over Japanese cities. The group remained on Guam until it was inactivated in March 1946. Topic: <laughs> Pilot training. The 29th Flying Training Wing replaced, and absorbed resources of, the 3,615th Flying Training Wing on 1 July 1972 at Craig Air Force Base, Alabama. The 29th conducted undergraduate pilot training and operated Craig facilities. In 1974, Craig was selected as one of two UPT bases to be closed in a post-Vietnam economic move. In 1977, Air Training Command closed Craig Air Force Base along with Webb Air Force Base in Texas. The wing, Military Aviation Unit wing was inactivated on 30 September 1977, and the field was placed on caretaker status the next day. Topic. Lineage 29th Bombardment Group Substituted as the 29th Bombardment Group Heavy on the 22nd of December 1939 activated on the 1st of February 1940 
Inactivated on 1 April 1944 Redesignated 29th Bombardment Group, Very Heavy and Activated on 1 April 1944 Inactivated on 20 May 1946 Consolidated with the 29th Flying Training Wing as the 29th Flying Training Wing on 31 January 198,429th, Flying Training Wing Established as the 29th Flying Training Wing on the 22nd of March 1972 activated on the 1st of July 1972 inactivated on the 30th of September 1977 consolidated with the 29th Bombardment Group on the 31st of January 1984 remained inactive topic assignments General Headquarters Air Force, the 1st of February 1940. Southeast Air District, the 21st of May 1940. 3D Bombardment Wing, C. October 1940. 2 Bomber Command, the 25th of June 1942 to the 1st of April 1944. 2 Bomber Command, 1 April 1944 attached to 17th Bombardment Operational Training Wing after c. 15 April 1944 314th Bombardment Wing, 9 November 1944 – 20 May 1946 attached to 17th Bombardment Operational Training Wing until 17 December 1944 Air Training Command, the 1st of July 1972 to the 30th of September 1977. Topic: Components. Sixth Bombardment Squadron, the 1st of February 1940 to the 1st of April 1944, the 1st of April 1944 to the 20th of May 1946. 43D Bombardment Squadron, later 43D Flying Training Squadron, the 1st of February 1940 to the 1st of April 1944, the 1st of April 1944 to the 20th of May 1946, 1972 to 1977. 52D Bombardment Squadron, later 52D Flying Training Squadron, the 1st of February 1940 to the 1st of April 1944, the 1st of April 1944 to the 20th of May 1946, 1972 to 1977. 21st Reconnaissance Squadron, later 411th Bombardment Squadron, attached the 5th of September 1941, assigned the 25th of February 1942 to the 1st of April 1944, the 1st of April to the 10th of May 1944. Topic: <laughs> Stations. Langley Field, Virginia, the 1st of February 1940. McDill Field, Florida, the 21st of May 1940. Gowan Field, Idaho, the 25th of June 1942 to the 1st of April 1944. Pratt Army Air Field, Kansas, the 1st of April to the 7th of December 1944. North Field, Guam, Mariana Islands, the 17th of January 1945 to the 20th of May 1946. Craig Air Force Base, Alabama, the 1st of July 1972 to the 30th of September 1977. Topic: Aircraft. <inaudible> 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 See also B-17 Flying Fortress Units of the United States Army Air Forces B-24 Liberator Units of the United States Army Air Forces 
List of B-29 Superfortress operators <laughs>